Hey everyone, Teresa here. Thanks so much for tuning in to my channel. I wanted to come to you all today to share with you how I am able to keep my son's ice therapy machine ice cold without breaking the bank, buying all this ice. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. But first things first, if you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. And, and if this is your first video that you have ever watched of mine, go ahead and thumbs it up after watching it. And I hope that it helps you. And if you like, you have my permission to share it if you know someone that is in need of this uh, information. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Well, this is the machine that I am speaking of, y'all. I'm going to try to turn the camera to it, okay? You might see some weird things in the back. Please excuse me. That's just my house. It's just, you know. All right, so this is the machine right here. Let me try to move this thing out the way so you can be able to see exactly what it is. This is the Iceman machine. It is a water therapy machine, and it is used. It was given to my son after he had his knee surgery. Okay, now anyone, I guess, who have knee surgery, you might know something about this machine, and you know how costly, how very expensive it can be um, keeping ice for this thing. Okay, so I was not able to store ice. Okay, so the only thing I have is a refrigerator's freezer. I didn't have a deep freezer where I could just buy the bags of ice and just throw them in the freezer. I, I wasn't, I didn't have that. So I had to come up with an idea and I went online searching, searching, searching like something got to give for this. So when my son got this machine, here is the little thing that they had wrapped. Let me see, can I put it where you can see it? They had this thing, it was wrapped inside of his bandages after they did his surgery. And this is the thing where the water goes through and keeps the area nice and cold. I think I can see this. The water will come inside of these tubings right here and will go fill this thing up and it'd be cold. Okay, so I sat down and I really had to really figure this out. Like something got to give. Um... I, you know, I can't, I'm not able to keep purchasing this ice. So I will try to insert a picture um, as well. If I still have that picture of how his leg look, and you will be able to see these little things right here because the machine connects. See right here? It connects this way. You will put this on. This is inside of his um, um his um, bandages where his knee was operated on and these things sticks out and it connects to this all right so only thing you had to do was snap and open and shut then once you wouldn't use you put these little uh rubber things over this so that way water wasn't dripping out all over his bed or him and all that type of stuff but moving right along while i still got some ice here to show you guys Okay, so the first thing I started off with was using ice like this. You know, I would just get hunks of ice out of the, you know, and put them inside of cups and cans and whatever and would throw them inside of here because I'm like, okay, something has to give. So I would do this type of thing to, you know, keep ice going in here until I said, let me just go and try to search online just to see what others is saying about this machine, how they're able to uh, keep ice in here without going bankrupt buying ice. You know what I'm saying? That ice, a big bag of ice is costing, when a big bag of ice is costing like $3.99, at least where I am. So you're looking at, I'm running through ice like, I would get two of them at a time. So you're looking at about $8, okay? So I'm running through them like every every other day. I had to keep going back to the store repurp buying ice and i'm like oh no something has to give so i did i thought of an ice maker but i wasn't able to get that so something had to give so i went online well like i said i started out with these things right here okay then i still i kept noticing that they would melt fast i'm like okay something has to give something has to give so then when i went online that's when i discovered people was using water bottles of water for ice. They would take these, throw them in the freezer, let these freeze up, and that would be the ice. Okay, but at the same time, around the time my son got his um, surgery done, it was reaching almost close to like 100 degrees here, okay? And um, the ice, so of course the water that's coming from the outside, you know, that I'm using to fill this up with was kind of on the warm side, so of course it's going to make that ice melt even faster. So I'm like, okay, something else has to give. So I had a, what they call that? A, uh, uh, oh my God, what, what they call that? A, in other words, a bright idea moment. I'm going to say it that way. So I started taking the water that I was going to put inside this machine, y'all, and I put this in the refrigerator and let it get cold. 
Let it get cold, y'all. Okay, because as I kept sitting here thinking, and I'm pondering and pondering now, I go back to this, and I start looking at how this works. Inside of it, like I said, the water comes through these things here from the machine, okay? It comes inside of this, and this is what has to stay cold is the water. The ice doesn't go in here, just the water, okay? So I'm like, okay. I got a, I got a, I got a, um, idea. Why don't I just take this water, what I'm going to use inside of here in the first place and make it cold. And then I could just use this to keep it cold. Okay. Which means that this right here is going to keep this cold much longer. Okay. With it already being cold. So ding, that was a bright idea. So guys, I wanted to share it with you. So what I would do, take this cold water, pour it in there, in which this pitcher, you have to pour it up to, I don't think you can see it. It's like a certain marked area. Wait a minute, let me see can I tilt it over. And if you can see, see right there? You have to put ice right there, and you have to put the water right there, right there where my finger is. See that little line? So what I do, I would just fill, put the water there. So this pitcher didn't hold enough water. So, of course, I had to end up putting, like, a whole juice jug, and I fill this thing up, and I put it in. So whatever this leaves, wherever this left off, then I have water inside of this that's already cold to put inside of there, and it works perfect now my son said that it don't get ice cold at all the the uh it's cold but it's not the type of cold that he would be looking for so i don't know he said that even with the ice when i had the ice cubes it didn't get real real cold but it's cold so i'm thinking that maybe it's not something that's going to give you that real 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 cold that you would think it would give when you just just say that you took some water and you know poured it out the refrigerator into there it looked like to me it would be really cold but he said that it don't but my thing is as long as you get that cold therapy and at the time he was needing to when he first had got this machine first had his surgery this machine would have to run at least six times a day because the main thing was was to keep down the swelling and that's the only way they could do it was through this machine with this wrapped around his leg his um uh, his surgery area okay so this thing would get cold and that's what they wanted but buying that ice i could not do it and it was like uh-uh so y'all know how it be i like to keep things Simple and easy, nice and breezy, okay, up in here, because that's the only way we can function around here. So I had to come up with this idea. So guys, I wanted to share this with you guys. So if you know somebody who's using this machine, anybody that's having knee surgery or whatever, you might can just hit them on to this because the doctor will give them this. And this is what they're going to be using as um, far as to keep down the swelling. OK, so you might want to go ahead and share this information with them. OK, as far as how many ice bottles you would need, as far as these big ones, I have four inside of here. You only need four. So what the main thing you would do, you would get you a, a, a whole case of the um, tall bottles. If these are the ones that you want and you would just freeze eight because you will have a backup. So when you use these. Then and when these um, thaws out, then you can put the other four that you got in the freezer. So you want to freeze all eight of them at the same time. OK, and then that way you can always have your backup. All right. Now, even with the smaller bottles, if you want to use these, then this the machine will take five of these. So you would have to freeze 10 because you want to have that backup. So it's up to you how and what you want to freeze and how you want to do it. Now, if you want to continue to do this, you can, because you could take this little ice and just pour it down inside of there. And hey, it's good to go. You know, if you still want to use like cans of ice and stuff like that. But I only thing I would suggest, if it's hot in your area, now some places, some, some areas where, you know, you might not have to even do this, where it's cold, make this water right here cold, but I would suggest because it would make your ice last longer. But that's totally up to you. But I just wanted to drop this off to you guys. And yes, um, this is a, I think it's a, okay, yeah, this is a 72-ounce pitcher, okay? And I had to end up using maybe half of this, okay? So I don't know if you could find something just big enough to really pour, you know, to be able to hold every, all the water, but just, you know, break it up in however way you want to do it. Cause this is how I did it. And I use this picture to, to keep, to make water cold as well as this. 
Because whatever this leaves off, I can get it out of here. Okay, so yeah, so I hope that this really do help. It's been it's been a long time coming, y'all. I've been wanting to get this video out to you guys, but yes, I've been busy trying, you know, make sure my son is comfortable. Like I said, I did do a update vlog on his condition, but now he did go. I can give you a quick update. He went to his orthopedic surgeon yesterday and the surgeon said everything is looking great this is a video i did want to bring to you guys was about how to keep this thing cold because i know somebody somewhere else is going through the same thing and and then it's besides that you know what if you don't even want to buy the ice? You know what I'm saying? This just is a quicker way to where you can just have this done and you don't have to even go through that. So if there's any questions, comments, post them in the comment section of this video. I'd like to thank all y'all so very much for watching. And um, yeah, so I hope that this do help. And if you do know someone who can benefit from this information of this video, please go ahead. You have my permission to share it. But please thumbs up the video first so others can be able to share it as well. So with that being said, thank you y'all so so very much for watching wish you all a blessed day so until the next bye